Hey, what's going on guys? Coach DT with Dynamic Training here to bring you episode six of our YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be going over our top mini band exercises to help develop speed. So with these mini band exercises, we're gonna be working on developing your glutes, your hip flexors, your quads, and all those muscle groups that are gonna help make you a better athlete. Okay, so when it comes to purchasing a pack of mini bands, if you don't already have some at home, most of the time it comes in packs of four with like a light, a medium, a heavy, and an extra heavy. You can typically, typically get them anywhere on Amazon for about 10 to $12 for a set of four. When it comes to using that light mini band, that's typically gonna be for rehab exercises for people trying to get back into it. Um, that band's a little too easy in my opinion. I like to work with the medium band and the hard band. Those are the two bands. I'd start with the medium. As you get more comfortable, you start developing that skill, those muscles a little bit more, move up to the heavy band. Uh, the extra heavy band, I personally don't think it's necessary for what we're trying to accomplish here, which is developing speed and endurance. So before every workout that we have with our athletes, before we actually even get into our dynamic warm-up, we always start with a, a few different mini band exercises. Uh, mostly we start with our lateral walks and our forward and backwards walks. And all we're trying to do is activate those muscles to wake those legs up, to activate the glutes, the hip flexors, the quads, and to get those legs um, ready to go and to let them know it's time to work. So those exercises are gonna be included in this as well. The way that this video is going to work today is I'm going to kind of show you guys how the form is, what the exercise is of each individual mini band exercise. So I'm going to show you myself doing it. Um, and then I'm going to actually show some video clips of our athletes performing these drills as well. So you can see what it looks like, what it feels like for um, athletes, our youth athletes performing these drills. So check it out. Our first exercise is single leg in and outs. We drive that single leg out and back in, not allowing our foot to come all the way back, touching our other foot. We're going 15 seconds as fast as we can, touch and go on each leg. Shoulder hip, shoulder width, nice quarter squat, left leg out, back in, out, back in, out, back in, right here. 15 seconds. Good, touch and go, touch and go, touch and go, good job. Keep working. Finish strong, finish strong. Final five. Three, two, one, time. Next, we move into our double leg in and outs. Similar to the single leg, we drive both legs out and back in under control, not allowing your heels to click. Those feet should never come together. We're going 15 seconds as fast right as we can. Shoulders, right inside shoulder width, out, back in, out, back in, out, back in, out, back in, touch and go. 15 seconds, here we go, let's work, come on. We're going in three, two, one, go. There it is, good. Drop the butt a little bit, drop the butt, good. Chest stays up, chest stays tall, soy. Here we go, good. Come on, final five, add to it, add to it, add to it. Three, two, one, time. Now we move into our scissor exercise. Um, the goal of scissors is to drive that band apart. So we're not worried about our feet being shoulder width on this exercise, we're trying to drive one leg forward and one leg back. Opposite arm, remember, we're pulling that band apart. One leg's forward, one leg's back. Pull, 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 pull. 15 seconds, here we go. Left leg up. Set, go. Good, there it is, good job. Good, Coco. Good, Sawyer. There it is, is. come on, pump those arms. Pump those arms. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, time. For this next exercise, uh, the band placement is important we want to have that band right in the middle of our feet. So we're going to go by driving that one leg up, single leg knee drives. The key here is you have to keep that toe flexed up um, or pointed up. And what that's going to do is for one, it's going to keep that foot dorsi flexed, but also it holds onto that band. We drive up. We don't want to come up slow, right? We want to drive up, snap, bop, snap up, knees parallel. Toe has to stay flexed up. Toe stays flexed up to hold onto that band. We're going left leg first, right arms up. 10 reps, set, go, let's go, snap up, good, snap up, snap up, good job, good, good job, stay up tall is, good, good job, shake it out, we're going right leg for 10, right leg for 10, left arm, set, go, snap, 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 snap. Next, we move into our uh, single leg knee drive holds. So what we're trying to do here, band is in the exact same position. We drive that knee up, toes pointed up. Once we come up, we push that foot out just a tad. And what it's gonna do, it's really gonna work the quads and the hip flexors here. This is gonna be huge for helping developing those muscle groups. So we go knee up, toe out, one, two, 
three, four, five, we're back down. Knee up, toe out, one, two, three, four, five. Three reps each leg, we're going left leg first. Knee up, toe out, one, two, three, four, five, down. Knee up, toe out, one, two, three, four, five, back down. Let's go, knee up, toe out, one, two, three, four, five, back down. Lastly, we move into our banded walks. So here we're doing our lateral walks. The key is to keep those feet right inside shoulder width. We lead with that front foot, we step, then we step with the back leg. Uh, notice the closest my feet ever get together is that starting position right inside shoulder width. And when we're taking those steps, we're not taking big steps where we're stepping out of our frame. It's a small step forward, come together. Small step forward, back leg comes together. When we move into our forward and backwards walks, we do wanna focus on keeping our feet right outside shoulder width. Slight quarter squat, we go step, step, still focusing on our arms being opposite arm, opposite leg. So we go forward and then we go backwards. Thanks for watching this video. As far as sets and reps, um, I recommend doing somewhere between two and four sets of all four exercises, or excuse me, all six exercises. So uh, typically I will literally go straight down that line, right? We start with the uh, single leg in and outs. We go into the double leg in and outs. We go scissors. Um, then we go into our knee drives. Then we go into our knee drive holds. And then we do our lateral walks and our forward and backwards walks. Like I was talking about that we do before every single workout with my athletes. So um, I like to go through all those exercises for two to four sets, depending on, you know, if you're just starting out, you want to break yourself back into it. Start with two. If you're feeling confident, it's feeling good. Hit that third and fourth set. So thanks again for watching, guys. Feel free to uh, subscribe if you haven't already or follow us on social medias at Fit Life of DT. We'll see you next time.